Today is March 22. On the 22nd of March in 1963, a rock group of four formed in Liverpool, which would later on come to be known as The Beatles, released its debut album. What is the title of this debut album? Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. Today we are joined again by Thomas. Welcome Hello. back. I see you're wearing the same shirt. I hope you washed it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, yeah. good, okay, good. Okay. Well, you barely made it to uh, round five, but you, you're here. How do you feel about it? Excited, I think. Uh, I'm not ex not so sure what the rounds will be, but uh, I hope I can yeah, uh, give you some subject. good answers. Wow, okay, good luck. Thank you. If you have been active on any form of social media in recent years, you will have heard of entrepreneur Elon Musk. He has had many iconic moments and controversies, such as sending a Tesla car into space and appearing in a PewDiePie video. Last year, Elon Musk made world news for buying social media platform Twitter. Here are nine celebrity tweets. Do you have a Twitter account? I used to have a Twitter you, account. Okay, uh, but you know uh, these celebrities, right? Because, uh, I know all of the celebrities. Uh, okay, yes. so I will read out the tweet and you will also see a picture of the tweet, of course, with the name uh, block. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. okay, okay. Uh, and you have to guess uh, who tweeted the tweet. Interesting. Uh, but okay. you've not been active on Twitter recently, so it might be a bit harder. Yeah, but I think y you can uh, sometimes have a good guess, uh, so. Yeah. Okay, the celebrities are Lil Nas X, Kanye West, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, your boy, Joe Biden, Kylie Jenner, Dolly Parton, Barack Obama, and lastly, Greta Thunberg. All, uh, yeah, famous people. I hope you know them all. Yes. Okay, let's start. Um, pickle ye. Just a pickle ye. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> okay. And then as a response to Andrew Tate's tweet, Yes, please, do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy. Greta Thunberg. Okay. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Elon Musk. Okay. Last night I had cereal with milk for the first time. Life-changing. Uh, pass. It's a new day in America. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Next time buy buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back <laughs> Oh, in. this is Elon Musk, of course. <laughs> Fiddle me this. This was a joke, y'all. I hope I made you laugh. Dolly Parton. Gonna start back releasing music soon. The old town road me money is running out. Lil Nas X. Thank you for everything. My last ask is the same as my first. I'm asking you to believe. Not in my ability to create change, but in yours. Heart touching. Wow. Barack Obama. Stop the time. Or oh, this was it. Oh, uh, the first one where... I had nothing is Donald Trump and then the thing where I said Elon Musk will be uh, no where I said Elon Musk will be Donald Trump and yeah. then the other one will be Kylie Jenner and then stop the time okay oh okay you need six no seven correct answers so. seven correct okay uh, some of them were f I'm fairly certain of let's see uh, yeah yeah Ooh. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, you need Elon Musk. I think I've correct. Then Kanye West, then Lil Nas, then Joe Biden, Greta Thunberg, then Dolly Parton. So let's use one lifeline and then oh I my. think I'll have seven. Okay. Then uh, I'll read out the answers. Okay. The first tweet was Pickle Ye, picture. And that's uh, Kanye West, iconic tweet. It's my favorite one. Uh, then as a response to Andrew Tate. Yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. That's Greta Thunberg. Uh, thank you, Kanye. Very cool. That's Donald Trump. He's best friends with Kanye, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the tweet. Last night I had cereal with milk for the first time. It's life-changing. That's quite Kylie Jenner. It's a new day in America. So I think one of the most liked <laughs> tweets <laughs> of 2021. That's Joe Biden. Next time buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in, it's by Elon Musk. 
Now fit only this. That was a joke, y'all. I hope you made you laugh. That's Dolly Parton. Gonna start back releasing music soon. The old time money running out. Lil Nas X. And then finally, thank you for everything. My last ask is the same as my first. I'm asking you to believe. Not in my ability to create change, but in yours. That's by Barack Obama. Oh, damn. Nine. Perfect rounds, okay. Okay, I uh, didn't expect that. But then you get your lifeline back, but not your seconds, your precious seconds. Ah, oh, yeah. Are you not entertained? I'm not asking. This is just a quote from the famous movie Gladiator. Here are then nine famous movie quotes. So uh, I will read out a movie quote and then you see, you have to guess to, uh, in which movie it is said. Okay. Uh, do you watch a lot of movies or? Uh... Yeah, uh, only a couple. Do you know all of them? Have you watched them? <laughs> uh, no, I know Empire Strikes Back, uh, American Psycho and Spider-Man. Three. And then yes. That's are the only I've seen. And Three is almost the... nine. Yeah, right? I've, to have everything <laughs> correct. Uh, no, 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 you have seven correct. Okay. All right. Okay, the movies are Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back, The Sixth Sense, American Psycho, The Spider Man, the Tobey Maguire 2001 version, Forrest Gump, The Godfather Part One, Little Miss Sunshine, The Wizard of Oz from 1939, and Jaws. Yeah, ready? Ready. Okay, the first quote is, I see dead people. I Plus. see dead people. Oh, uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Jaws. Uh, <laughs> I am your father. Empire Strikes Back. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, Forrest Gump. I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> this is of course <laughs> Spider-Man. My mom always said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Ah. Uh, the sixth sense. Do you know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody who is so afraid of not winning, they don't even try. The Godfather. I'm gonna make him an offer you can't refuse. American Psycho. I have to return some videotapes. Little Miss Sunshine. Do you want to switch around or stop the time? And then the Wizard of Oz at the other place and then stop the time. Okay. How far do you think you have seven correct? I think Ooh. I have two correct. Two correct? <laughs> That's uh, Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard <a> lifeline. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yes, I think I'll use all of my lifelines and uh, let's hope I uh, have a uh, new round. You'd have, uh, it's a lot of seconds. Yeah, then I'll just have to do the next round or rounds very quickly. You get your seconds from the previous uh, episode you had remaining if you decide to go into round seven and eight. Because I think you had like 40 seconds. Yeah, also that left. will be added. So then the, the three lifelines, yeah. Three lifelines, okay. Let's read out the answers. I see dead people, that's from the movie The Sixth Sense. You're gonna need a bigger boat. That's famous, very famous. It's from Jaws. Luke, I am your father. That's uh, Darth Vader in The Empire Strikes Back. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. That's from The Wizard of Oz. I'm something of a scientist myself, is a meme and a quote from <laughs> Spider-Man. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. That's from Forrest Gump. Do you know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody who is so afraid of not winning that they don't even try. That's from Little Miss Sunshine. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. That's from The Godfather. And then I have to return some videotapes. It's from uh, American Psycho. Yeah. Okay. Ah. ah, too bad. Even the lifelines couldn't save Maybe me. Maybe watch more movies, come back next uh, season. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, but thank you for joining us. I have uh, a participation award for you. A nice Amazing. Look, it's cold, lukewarm a bit. But there's more because you participate in season one and you never got your clock here for that. Yes. And you get two. Oh, I'm very happy. Enjoy with this. this. Thank you. Okay, 
Uh, now we'll go to the next contestant. Now we're here with a new contestant. Well, new, old. You've been here last week. You did very well. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I felt I felt it was great. I uh, just question. hope you have more biology questions for me yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. we served some biology questions. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> okay, but, uh, we'll see. Since the dawn of time, humanity has always been fascinated by the stars and space. So it is said that Archimedes would look up at the night sky and listen to the music of the stars. It is then no wonder that among the many technological advancements humanity achieved, we aimed and reached for the stars. Here are then nine spacecrafts. So you will see on the answer sheets, you will see nine spacecrafts have been launched into space, and I will describe them to you, and you will also get a picture. Okay, great. Okay, so the spacecrafts are named Voyager 1, Galileo, the Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, Apollo, the Hubble Telescope, Vostok, Sputnik 1, and the James Webb Space Telescope. You recognize them? Yeah, some, some of them, not all of them. them. Yeah. Okay. Then the first one. It was launched launched in 2021, and its first uh, picture, James Webb. Used between 1981 and 2011. Space shuttle. A collaboration from all ISS. Launched in 1977 by NASA to study the outer solar uh, Sputnik system. Sputnik one. Launched in 1990. Uh, into orbit around the Earth by NASA, it can make pictures without the distortion of Earth's atmosphere. Um, that's Sputnik 1, the one, previous one was Voyager 1. Launched in 1961 and made Yuri Gagarin the first human in space. Uh, Vostok? Launched in 1989 and arrived at Jupiter six years later to become the first spacecraft to orbit another planet than Earth. It studied uh, Jupiter and its moons as well as some asteroids. Uh, Apollo Launched in 1957 by the Soviet Union Sputnik 1 Consisting of three parts to accomplish the goal of putting men on the moon and bring them back they um, succeed Apollo uh, Hubble of Galileo is the one that looks at Earth uh, Hubble telescope is um, the one I called Sputnik first okay. Thank, Stop the time Okay you need seven correct answers for this round. You think you managed that? Uh, let me fresh. let me check. Uh, you're here for all the time. Just. I think I'm gonna use one. Okay. Yeah. One life left. Yeah, yeah, That's five yeah. left. That's fine. Okay. Then uh, let's check them. Okay. Launched in 2021, and its first, pic first pictures were made public last year. That's the James Webb Telescope. Used between 1981 and 2011 to orbit the Earth. It was partially reusable. It's a space shuttle. A collaboration from almost the entire world. Uh, it is used as a laboratory in space. That's the International Space Station. Launched in 1977 by NASA to study the outer solar system and interstellar space. It studied weather, magnetic field, and rings of both uh, Saturn and Jupiter on its way by. That's the Voyager 1. Launched in 1990 into orbit around the Earth by NASA, and it can make pictures without the distortion of Earth's atmosphere. That's the Hubble telescope. And launched in 1961 and made Yuri Gagarin the first human in space. That's the Vostok. Launched in 1989 and arrived at Jupiter six years later to become the first spacecraft to orbit an other planet than Earth. And it studied Jupiter and its moons, as well as some asteroids. That's um, the Galileo. Launched in 1957 by the Soviet Union as the first artificial satellite. It sent a radio signal for three weeks before its battery died. It fell back down to Earth after three months. That's the Sputnik 1. And consisting of three parts uh, to accomplish the goal of putting men on the moon and bring them back. They succeeded in 1969. It's the Apollo, the famous one. Well, we're not sure if it happened. Do you I, believe in the moon landing? Is that a question? Yeah, <laughs> no, of course I do. I, yeah. Okay, I do too. Okay. I did not expect that. But, oh. Yeah, it went very well. No. In the first year of the COVID-19 pandemic, global prevalence of anxiety and depression increased by a massive 25% according to a scientific brief released by the World Health Organization in March of 2022. A disease study shows that the pandemic has infected the mental health 
of young people most of all. Luckily, there is more and more attention for, uh, for mental health issues every day, and most of these disorders are treatable. On that note, here are nine common mental health illnesses. So, you see nine mental health issues, and I will describe them. There's, of course, no real clear image, so it's oh, yeah, not a okay. picture. Right? Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, so they are anorexia nervosa, depression, schizophrenia, OCD, PTSD, bipolar disorder, binge eating disorder, anxiety, and ADHD. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, sure we did. Okay. The first one. This is a common mental health condition where a person has obsessive thoughts and compulsive oh, behaviors. OCD. This is a mental health condition that causes extreme mood swings that include emotional highs, mania... Uh, bipolar. This is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. It may result in some combination... Uh, schizophrenia. This is a condition that affects people's behavior. People with it can, be see can seem restless, uh, may have trouble concentrating... Anxi on anxiety. This is due to a medical condition that includes symptoms of intense panic that are directly caused by a physical health problem. Uh, panic, you said? Yeah. Uh, ADHD? Okay, this is a disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of large eating. And binge eating. Okay. Um, this is a men medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. It De seems depression. Okay. Uh, eating disorder characterized by low weight, food restriction, anorexia. Body this is a mental health condition that's triggered by a traumatizing event. Uh, PTSD. Let me switch ADHD and anxiety disorder. Stop the time. Okay. You also have seven correct answers for this one. Yeah, I got them. Yeah? Yeah. Nine or seven, I think. Oh, you're challenging me right now. Uh, I should have maybe listened to the questions longer, but um, um, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I think I have nine, yeah. Okay, then let's read out the answers. This is a common mental health condition where a person has obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors, that's OCD, a mental health condition that causes extreme mood swings that include emotional highs, mania or hypomania, and lows, that's depression, and that's uh, bipolar disorder. This is a serious mental a disorder in which people interpret reality normally. It may result in some combination of hallucinations, delusions and extremely disordered thinking and behavior that impairs daily functioning and can be disabling. That's uh, schizophrenia. This is a condition that affects people's behavior. People with it can seem restless, uh, may have trouble concentrating and may act on impulse. That's ADHD. So that's, uh, you swap that around correctly. And then this is due to a medical condition that includes symptoms of intense panic that are directly caused by a physical health problem, that's anxiety. This is a disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of uh, eating large quantities of food, often very quickly and to the point of discomfort. It's binge eating disorder. This is a medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think and how you act. Its symptoms include fatigue, loss of interest, feeling worthless, changes in appetite, etc. That's depression. An eating disorder characterized by low weight, food restriction, body image disturbance, fear of gaining weight, and an overpowering desire to be thin. That's anorexia. And this mental health is a mental health condition that's triggered by a traumatizing event. Its symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. That's PTSD, and I see you're nine correct. That's another lifeline in the bag. Yeah. How do you feel? This was sort of a biology question as well. Yeah, sort of, yeah, sort of a medical question, yeah. Ah, okay. So you're happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. Wanted. Well, okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, that means you have completed six rounds, and you sort of won. You sort of won. Sort you of. You can choose to uh, stop now. Or you can play two uh, rounds where you have to get every uh, answer right, and then you get a much bi much bigger prize. Um, yeah, I see. With the one ninety two seconds, I I think. Yeah, uh, you got your. Uh, think you have fifty seconds something for yeah. this week. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck on your redemption. Thanks. <laughs> it was a simple falling apple that inspired Newton to study and clarify gravity. 
in much the same fashion, it was a simple Dutch TV quiz that inspired the creation of Smarter by the Second, the amazing show you are currently watching. With a little nod to Newton as a thanks, here are the nine physical forces. So, um, obviously another question around as well. Um, you see nine forces, I will describe them. Okay. Your set. So, we have electromagnetic force, a tension, an elastic force, normal force, strong nuclear force, the gravitational force, centrifugal force, friction, and weak nuclear force. Ready? Yep. It's not biology, I'm sorry. No, physics also fine. Physics also fine. <laughs> yeah, doing science, everything should be fine, right? That's true. Okay, the first one. It causes objects to attract each other, depends on the mass of the objects and the distance between them. Uh, weak nuclear. The force that prevents objects from passing through each other. Uh, normal. It resists motions when two surfaces touch each other. Friction. It acts between all charged particles and is the dominant forces for atoms and molecules. Uh, weak nuclear. The first one was gravitational. Okay. This force is responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. Uh, a strong no nuclear. Force that is transmitted through string or rope when it is pulled tight. Tension. Not a real force, but it looks like an outward facing force on a rotating mass. Centrifugal. The force that holds protons and neutrons together and is responsible for the energy released in nuclear reactions. Strong nuclear. After def deformation, this force brings the object back into the original shape. Elastic. And then the one I called strong nuclear first is electromagnetic. Uh, stop the time. Okay. Uh, you have seven lifetimes. They all cost 16 seconds. I don't um, Yeah. You need all of them correct. I'm a bit in doubt about the nuclear forces. Uh, I think they're right now in the correct order, but I don't remember the full description. So I'm going to use... Two. Two? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be smart to use one because... No, that's why. Already, yeah, that's why I used two. Okay, then uh, let's check the answers. Uh, it causes objects to attract each other, depends on the mass of the objects and the distance between them. That's gravitational. The force that prevents objects from passing through each other is normal. It resists motions when two surfaces touch each other is friction. It acts between all charged particles and is the dominant force for uh, atoms and molecules. Is electromagnetic force. This force is responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. It's a weak nuclear force. Um, this force is uh, okay. Sorry, the force that is transmitted through a string or rope when it is pulled tight. That's tension. Not a real force, but it looks like an outward-facing force on a rotating mass. That's a centrifugal force. Then we have the force that holds protons and neutrons <laughs> together and is responsible for the energy release in nuclear reactions, a strong nuclear force. And after deformation, this force, force brings objects back into the original shape, that's elastic force. Oh! Yes! <laughs> you, uh, no, no, no. The, the, the electromagnetic one was false. I thought you had weak and strong. No, but in the end I knew that strong was right, so... Um, uh, yeah. okay. Damn. Luck or uh, pure skill? No, it's, this is uh, sort of luck, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, oh, I feel the, the might finally win. I feel the tension. It's also the last round, and last time you also feel on the last round. Oh, you're, you're, you're giving me a lot of pressure now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the pressure is high, it's smarter by the second. <laughs> okay, well, best of luck. Thanks. As of around the 1980s, the word sick got its slang meaning. Uh, just like wicked, it became known as a word used to mean cool, rad, or awesome. So no matter how you turn it, we can all call this a sick round. Nine diseases and their symptoms. Um, so you see nine diseases, I will read out the symptoms. And you have to guess to which disease it belongs. Okay, the diseases include hay fever, asthma, common cold, arthritis, bronchitis, tinnitus, a lot of itis, uh, epilepsy, <laughs> diabetes, and uh, pneumonia. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think so. It's a silent P. But I'm not sure. Okay. You might have been blessed. Yeah, you give. Why all the medical rounds? But okay. <laughs> uh, so maybe we felt sorry for you. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
Are you focused? The last I'm, one? I'm really focused. Okay. It's time for de redemption. Okay, I'll try to read out the questions fast. So yeah, okay, okay, great, thanks. First one. Swelling of the tissue in one or both lungs, it's usually called... Uh, bronchitis. Pain. Common condition that causes pain and inflammation in a joint. Arthritis. Common long-term condition that can cause coughing, wheezing, chest tightness and breathlessness. The Asthma. An infection of the main airways of the lungs, causing them to become irritated and inflamed. The main symptom is a cough which may bring up yellow-gray mucus. Uh, b b b uh, common cold. A mild viral infection of the nose, throat, sinuses and upper airways. It's very common. Common cold. Lifelong condition that causes a person's blood glucose level to become too high. There are two uh, Diabetes. Problems. Condition that affects the brain and is defined by repeated seizures. Epilepsy. Term for hearing sounds that come from inside your body rather than from the outside. Uh, tinnitus. Common allergic condition that affects up to one in five people. At Hay fever. Um, you had the one I call pneumonia uh, for uh, the first one I called bronchitis. Stop the time. Okay. No. Okay. You want to use? Uh, you can use two life. Can I use him? Is it? Yeah, can I end up with zero? No. Why not? Right. You can, or you can go for the flex and say. <laughs> no. I no. I I tactfully. Ended up with 32 seconds, so I'm gonna use them as well. Yeah, okay, two lifelines. Smart, smart choice. <laughs> Thank you. It's smarter by the you second, really right? Want this. <laughs> it's really smarter by the second. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, well, I'm gonna keep you waiting. I'll read out uh, the answers. Okay. Swelling of the tissue in one or both lungs. It's usually caused by bacterial infection. That's pneumonia. A common condition that causes pain and inflammation in a joint, that's arthritis. A common long-term condition that can cause coughing, wheezing, chest tightness and breathlessness. The severity of these symptoms varies from person to person, that's asthma. An infection of the main airways of the lungs, causing them to become irritated and inflamed. The main symptom is a cough, which may bring up yellow-gray mucus, that's bronchitis. A mild viral infection of the nose, throat, sinuses and upper airways. It is very common and usually clears up on its own within a week or two. The main symptoms include a sore throat, blocked or runny nose, sneezing and a cough. That's the common cold. It had the word common in the description as well. <laughs> but, uh, fine. A lifelong condition that causes a person's blood glucose level to become too high. There are two main types, type 1 and type 2. Very eloquently named a condition that affects the brain and is defined by re uh, repeated seizures the main symptoms are re repeated seizures there are different types of seizures depending on which part of the brain it affects that's epilepsy a term for hearing sounds that come from inside your body rather than from the outside source it is often described as ringing in the ears although several sounds can be heard that's tinnitus and a common allergic condition that affects up to one in five people at some point in their life. Symptoms include sneezing, a runny nose and itchy eyes. You'll experience these symptoms if you have an allergic reaction to pollen. That's hay fever and you got nine correct. So you get a uh, lifeline back, but you don't <laughs> want the prize. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Finally thanks. making it three times uh, the charm. Yeah, thanks. Well, thank you for joining us. There we have a small participation. Oh, great. Thank award. you. Thanks you for organizing. It was great. Yeah, yeah it's good. OK, that was it for today's episode. The answer to today's viewers question is please, please me. Thank you all for watching and see you next week.